let's take a look at leadership skills. Leadership skills referred to learned competencies that leaders are able to demonstrate in performance. Influence skills give people the capacity to influence others. They are a critical component in successful leadership. Even though skills play an essential role in the leadership process, they have received little attention by researchers. Leadership traits rather than leadership skills have been the focus of research for more than 100 years. However, in the past 20 years, leadership skills are now receiving far more attention by researchers and practitioners alike. Although there are many different leadership skills, they're often considered as groups of skills. Leadership skills are grouped into three categories, administrative, interpersonal, and conceptual skills. While often devalued because they're not glamorous or exciting, administrative skills play a primary role in effective leadership. Administrative skills help a leader to accomplish the multitude by critically important aspects of showing leadership. Some would even argue that administrative skills are the most fundamental of all skills required as a leader. What are administrative skills? Well, we're referring to those competencies that a leader needs to run an organization in order to carry out the organization's purpose and goals. These involve planning, organizing, assigning the right tasks to the right people, and coordinating work activities. For purposes of our discussion, administrative skills are divided into three specific sets of skills, managing people, resources, and showing technical competence. Any leader of a for-profit or non-profit organization, if asked what occupies the most time, will reply managing people. Few leaders can do without the skill of being able to manage people. An effective leader connects with people and understands the tasks to be done the skills required to perform them, and the environment in which people work. For a leader to deal effectively with people requires a host of abilities, such as helping employees to work as a team, motivating them to do their best, promoting satisfactory relationships, and responding to their requests. The leader also needs to find time to deal with urgent staff matters. Staff members come to the leader for advice on what to do about a problem, and the leader needs to be able to respond appropriately. A leader must also pay attention to recruiting and retaining employees. Leaders also need to communicate effectively with their own leaders, the public, and others outside the organization who have stakes in what's going on. Although it's not obvious for others, a leader is often required to spend a significant amount of time addressing resource issues. These can include people, money, equipment, space, or anything needed to operate the organization. Technical competence involves having specialized knowledge about the work we do or asking others to do. In the case of an organization, it includes understanding the intricacies of how an organization functions. Technical competence is sometimes referred to as functional competence because it means a person is competent in a particular function or area. No one is required to be competent in all avenues of life so too a leader is not required to have technical competence in every situation. But technical knowledge of the functions and activities across levels of the organization is important for the leader. Interpersonal skills are people skills, those abilities that help a leader work effectively with followers, peers, and superiors to accomplish organizational goals. While some people believe them to be inconsequential, research has consistently pointed out the importance of interpersonal skills to effective leadership. To successfully lead an organization towards change, a leader needs to be sensitive to how his or her own ideas fit in with others. Social perceptiveness includes having insight into an awareness of what's important to others, how they're motivated, the problems they face, and how they react to change. Leadership is about change, and people in organizations often resist change because they like things to stay the same. A leader who is socially perceptive can create change more effectively if they understand how the proposed change may affect all the people involved. Another important skill is for a leader to be able to show emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is concerned with a person's ability to understand their own and others' emotions and then apply them to life's tasks. 
the underlying premise of research on emotional intelligence is that people who are sensitive to their own emotions and the impact of their emotions have on others are more effective as leaders. Unlike personality traits, which remain fairly stable over time, emotional intelligence is a skill that can be developed. First, leaders need to work on becoming more aware of their own emotions as they happen. Whether it's mad, glad, sad, or scared, a leader needs to assess consistently how he or she is feeling and what is causing those feelings. Second, a leader should train to become aware of the emotions of others. A leader who knows how to read others' emotions is better equipped to respond appropriately to these people's wants and needs. Third, a leader needs to learn how to regulate his or her emotions and put them to good use. Whether a leader makes a substantial decision, the leader's emotions are involved. Emotions in the workplace are contagious. The leader acts as the group's emotional guide. When the leader is sensitive to others and manages their own emotions appropriately, that leader increases the chances of the group's decisions being more effective. People with emotional intelligence understand emotions and incorporate these in all what they do as leaders.